Hello Confidential, 1997, directed by Curtis Hansen. This film won two Academy Awards, one for Kim Basinger and one for Best Adapted Screenplay. The film was based on a novel by James Elroy. It's set in Hollywood in the 1950s and it's a, basically a crime cave movie. Uh, there's a lot going on in there, there's some romance, there's some drama, action, a bit of an adventure flick, film noir, and there's a great cast going on too. Sergeant Ed Exley, son of the legendary Preston Exley. Must be a hard act to follow. Yeah, there's a lot I could talk about with this film, but I'm just going to keep it a bit more of a quick review. I'm Officer White. You have a thing for helping women, don't you, Officer White? There's a good cop bad cop relationship that goes on between Russell Crowe and Guy Pearce. I really enjoy the performance from Guy Pearce. Guy Pearce also started in the Australian long running TV show Neighbours. That's when good neighbours become. He also starred in Priscilla Queen of the Desert. Ever since I was a lad, I've had this dream climb King's Canyon as a queen in a full length Gautier sequin, heels, and a tiara. Great. That's just what this country needs. A cock in a frock on a rock. Kevin Spacey tries to groom a young rising Hollywood star and he also does that here as well in Alley Confidential. Uh, Simon Baker plays the young rising star and Kevin Spacey works in conjunction with Dane DeVito and uh, he does. he's like the media. They go back and forth just kind of leeching from opportunities and doing deals and things like that. Kim Basinger plays the star that Veronica Lake look alike. Uh, and she does it well here. I mean, she won the award for it. And, you know, it's a good performance. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, officer. That obvious, huh? It's practically stamped on your forehead. He doesn't follow the same rules of politics. It makes him dangerous. Uh, it's not great, but... Um, I enjoyed it. She has a sultry kind of attitude that she brings to the character uh, and she really gives off that persona of Hollywood starlet celebrity. We've also got James Cromwell as well who also plays the head of the police department. Uh, he's really good in his role as well. He was also in Babe. Uh, I really enjoyed him in that. I'm not sure if you realize how much the other animals are laughing at you. <laughs> it's not a duck that thinks it's a rooster, it's a pig that thinks it's a dog. You should accept what he is and be thankful for it. I can handle Bud White. Would you be willing to be the confession out of a suspect you knew to be guilty? No. Ultimately, the film belongs to Guy Pearce's character, Ed Exley. Would you be willing to shoot a hardened criminal in order to offset the chance that some lawyer... No. Basically about his transformation from good cop to bad cop. Would you be willing to plant corroborative evidence on a suspect you knew to be guilty? No. Oh, oh my God! Basically, as the plot goes, uh, Ed Exley joins this cop force and basically be begins to reveal you know, layers of corruption that are going on within the, the precinct or the station. Your new LAPD will not tolerate officers who think they're above the law. And as he begins to uncover uh, what's going on, things start to get a little bit messy. You know, I watched this film the other night after not seeing it for many years, and you know, I sat through it, didn't fall asleep. It's a tight script, and that's why it won Best Adapted Screenplay, uh, 132 minutes. So it's quite a long movie, good performances, you know, great story. How's it going to look in your report? It'll look like justice. I wanted to catch the guys who thought they could get away with it. Then somewhere along the way, I lost sight of that. But overall, I enjoyed this film. Uh, I think it's up there as a pretty good crime caper. Uh, so I'm going to give this film four and a half stars. Wait. Alright guys, we'll leave a comment. Let us know what you think about LA Confidential. Thanks for watching. As always, if you can, just subscribe to the channel. That would really help us out here. Alright guys, this is James signing off the record on the QT. And very hush hush.